probably will be of this view as well, which is all of these charities, right? Can we trust them, Kelvin? That's what they'll be saying. Right. I think I think that is the perfect point. That is the perfect point. Actually, I only give my money to people who I know something about and recognise that that, that 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 it's there's a solid foundation to it. Almost everybody in the world, I don't know whether you've ever noticed, when you go on the media and you see somebody quoted and what, what their job was, they appear to work for a charity. Mm. I don't know how many people now work for charities. And uh, sometimes I wonder, this is not entirely true. I mean, we've just had Dame Deborah James. What a fantastic woman yeah. she was. Yeah. Right, prepared to talk in the most intimate detail about the thing that was killing her. Unbelievable, unbelievable. But there are other aspects sometimes where you think to yourself, do you know what? I think this charity has been set up as a uh, make employment project, therefore make pay project by somebody. And I, I know that's unreasonable, but to be honest, I've never, the, the biggest explosion in business in this country in the last 25 years must be in charitable projects. Yeah, because, I mean, C Captain Tom, right, I remember during those days of lockdown, right, he was a real source of, of national pride, right? We all sort of yeah. channeled through him as a vehicle our pride at, one, being British, and, two, the stoicism that the nation had showed during yeah. the start of the pandemic and the yeah, NHS's response to it. But is this at risk of damaging the legacy of the man himself? because of the actions... Well, no, no, I don't agree allegedly. with that. No? No, I don't agree with that. I, I think Tom Moore led a phenomenal life yeah. and his last actions on this earth were an inspiration to everybody, especially to me, OK? So I don't agree with that. What I do think is that the family itself owe us all an obligation. Yeah, it's true, by the way, that money that 30 odd million quid, that is secured. I, I don't worry about that so much. I'd like an explanation, particularly from the son-in-law, why he felt it necessary to set up a company that privately trademarked the Tom Moore's name and which uh, the turnover was 800,000, but the profit was still half a million quid. Mm. I don't know about you, but when I last looked down the back of my sofa, I did not see half a million pounds. I think these are public questions that have been aired, by the way, brilliantly by the Times, great investigation. Without the Times on this issue, we'd know nothing about it. I think the family owe us a proper sit down to say, we promise you we didn't touch the 30 odd million. The trademark issue was a, was a, was a mistake on our part. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give all of that money as well over. If they did that, then I think they can hold their head up high. Unfortunately, if they don't do that and they carry on saying what they're saying at the moment, which is we are cooperating with the Charity Commission, I bet they are. I bet they're cooperating. I think unless they say that, then whenever they walk down the high street, their local high street, then I honestly think people may, may, may not be very kind towards them.